size comparison between two camera mounts. This particular one you can purchase from Hobby King for about $4.99 plus shipping. And this one you can make. Basically what this entails, we'll take this, the simpler one. And we can see the size difference and the, uh, how much more simpler this uh, particular one is. The Hobby King is great if you have one of their cameras that uh, mount vertically and that's the reason why they designed this plate here. But I needed a camera mount for one of the keychain cameras. The 808 number 16 it, uh, this is one of the better ones. They have a newer version of this, of this particular camera which has a much higher resolution. This records at 720 dpi and it's uh, this is the one I've been doing all the videos on the Mia micro lights and trikes. So this camera is uh, very good but I have my own lens. I have a, an adapter here and I put uh, an additional lens there that gives it a little more clarity and more a uh, uh, little bit better color. But basically it's the 808 number 16 camera. And so I needed a mount for this particular camera so that I can mount it on the uh, Mia ultralight conversion kits for the uh, GWS slow sticks and I needed it to be compact so I came up with this particular bracket here and I'm pretty sure some other people have done the same it's this is probably nothing new but I just wanted to illustrate the differences between the two uh, setups here I was actually planning on using this because I didn't want to build a, my own bracket just for lack of time but I ended up building it anyway and I'm glad I did because I'm saving a, a, quite a bit of space both in height and also in width and also depth. So very simple bracket. This is aluminum tube simply that uh, has been pressed flat, folded, drilled some holes to mount the, uh, uh, the uh, pan servo and a couple other holes to mount the uh, tilt servo nothing elaborate. I did have to make one little hole on the servo case to match to be in line with the uh, pivot point here and this is nothing more than just a, a screw the servo screw attached to the the, the servo on um, potentiometer uh, shaft and at this other end I just simply put a uh, 250 um, excuse me a two millimeter screw with a lug nut to create a spacer in between and it floats in this hole so it's able to pivot up and down. The bottom servo was modified with a 2.2 kilo ohm resistors. They're tiny resistors that I uh, replaced the, uh, the ends of the uh, potentiometer. It's got a black and a red lead and those go to the circuit board basically what you have to do is you have to put the resistors in line with those uh, connections in other words you gotta take the ends of the potentiometer hook up uh, one end of the resistor to one of the legs and connect it to the uh, the, the red uh, connection to the PC board and likewise you gotta do the same to the other side take the other side of the potentiometer uh, connection and uh, connect the, uh, the 2.2 uh, uh, K ohm resistor and connect the other side to the black connection to the PC board. It was a little tricky getting it uh, nice and nice and neat on, but uh, if you take your time you're, you can do it. It's got a little uh, burn marks from the soldering iron that I used, but all in all it came out pretty good. Now what that does is it allows the servo to pan 180 degrees. It's not totally 180 degrees, but it's, it's good enough for, uh, for, for, to provide a greater pan view of the uh, of the camera so I'll plug this into a servo uh, tester and we'll see how this works okay I'm just gonna use a single cell uh, 3.7 volts this uh, particular servo ser uh, servo tester can handle from 4.8 to 6 volts but uh, we'll just use 3.7 here just for the sake of keeping it simple there we go, and we'll connect one of these servos at a time so we can see each function independently. Okay, so we have connected the 
up and down tilt. So the camera will be stuck here with uh, Velcro or double-sided uh, industrial tape and it'll pan up and down. That's the up and down tilt and now let's try the panning, horizontal panning. Okay, so here's our pan servo. Okay. You have to be careful when you use a servo tester because the 2.2 uh, uh, K ohm resistors uh, do uh, go a little bit beyond the, uh, the limits of the gears and so you, that's why you hear that noise but certainly you get a lot more than 90 degree pan and it's plenty for for FPV so that, that's how that setup works, nothing special there. I'm sure you guys, uh, if you've seen uh, this, you've probably seen some other systems very similar. But I just wanted to illustrate how, how, how that particular system works. Main reason why I needed a smaller uh, camera mount is because I have this particular pilot that I designed for the ultralight conversion kits that we also make for the slow sticks. and. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to mount the, the camera where I think it should be mounted, which is at, inside the, the pilot uh, helmet or at the, at the head. The camera mount that I bought from Hobby King, uh, it, it works. I mean, you can also use that one there in place. But the only thing that this doesn't allow is it doesn't much room for the, for the helmet and the camera. Now bear in mind that I'm talking about using this particular kitchen cameras here and, may, and I may use the, the slightly larger one in its place only because it has higher resolution but my goal is to use these particular cameras and just to keep things simple and cover it with the helmet so that it looks like the pilot head is moving now this pilot head has been perforated with a hole for the camera uh, lens so the way this works is basically the camera is inserted into the into the, that eye perforation and you have basically what I'm calling it the Mio Microflight uh, Cyclop uh, camera mount system and so in order to make this a little more compact uh, I decided to make the smaller camera um, uh, tilt pan mount and this simply just installs on, on the body of the pilot like so and it provides a very nice and compact uh, setup here and this gets double sided or velcro to the camera mount so you're going to have pan and you also have tilt As we can appreciate in this video, the pilot head moves left right, but it can also move up and down. So this is just a, a prototype. The final production uh, pilots will be a little more uh, aesthetically pleasing around the neck area here, which is something that I don't. I don't like it's exposing this uh, plate here and that's just the support plate that is required to hold the camera mount but it's working fairly well here <laughs> 